Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So I already have like a little bit of anxiety today because I'm getting the day started so late. I meant to start this video at like 9.30 in the morning. It's almost 11. So off to a great start. I really don't know what's going on with my voice right now. <coughs> So as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a full day of eating your fear foods. If you don't know what a fear food is, it's kind of a term that's used in the eating disorder community, whether you are experiencing an eating disorder or you have recovered from an eating disorder. And it's just a food that you have this irrational fear towards. So for example, very popular fear foods are fried foods, bananas, peanuts, peanut butter, things like that. Oil, oil is always a really big one. And the number one thing that I always see is foods that you don't know the nutritional information for, you don't know the calories for, and things like that. So I do wanna make a quick disclaimer that I make at basically the start of every single one of these videos. This video is meant to help someone out there, but that's not a guarantee that it will help everyone and it could trigger some people. So if you think that you are going to be triggered by this, please exit out the video and even give it a dislike if that would help. But I am someone that experienced pretty much every eating disorder that you can think of. And something that did help me was seeing people eat the foods that I was irrationally afraid of and really not care. Like they would just eat it and that was it. <laughs> like that was, I know it sounds really dumb, but it's something that helped me. And from the feedback that I get from these videos, I can see that it helps a lot of you. So that's just all I want to achieve with these kinds of videos. If you do enjoy this video and you do want me to do more, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you hate it, give it a thumbs down because that's okay too. And if you want to subscribe, you totally can. And if you don't, that's okay too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm really just frazzled today. I let myself sleep in today basically, which just sets everything back. So now I'm getting the day started really late, so I apologize for that. But my goal is to get a lot of my meals out. Like I have an idea for lunch and dinner and the places that I wanna go out. But for breakfast, the number one thing that I always seem to get, by the way, when I'm saying the number one thing I always seem to get, it's because I ask you guys on my Instagram to send me in your fear foods. That's how I kind of compile these videos and things like that. So if you aren't following me on Instagram and you want to have a say in what I post on this channel, then make sure to follow me on Instagram. But like I was saying before, I really am getting sidetracked. I am so sorry. But one of the most common things I get is pastries for breakfast or not even for breakfast just pastries in general but the two places that sell pretty solid vegan pastries is Whole Foods and Sprouts and they do offer nutritional information I know Whole Foods you could probably ask for nutritional information but Whole Foods has the calories on the thing which is just so why? Like, I don't want to know the calories. Why do you need to tell me? Unless there's like a medical reason, I don't want to know the amount of calories in my donut or muffin or cookie. And then it sprouts, it's usually on the box, like all the macronutrient breakdowns. So breakfast is going to be, you know, the one that I am going to kind of know the nutritional information for. But for the other meals, I'm not going to. So uh, this is also gonna be like a full day of eating out. That's kind of my goal. So it's gonna be a little expensive and I'm gonna be you know, driving around a lot, and I'm a very introverted person and a homebody, so please give me some credit. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to, I think Sprouts, because Whole Foods has like donuts and muffins and cookies, but Sprouts, I think has muffins, cookies, and actually like pastries, apple turnovers and strudels and things like that. And that sounds really good right now. So I think I'm gonna do that. Y'all, I do not know how, I'm vlogging on my phone right now, if you can't tell. I do not know how YouTubers film in their car. I have gone through three different car tripods and none of them work. I have bought three different models and none of them seem to work. Like, I don't know if they use a GoPro maybe. Do they use a GoPro? Is that what it is? Or do they just have like a fancy car tripod camera? Car tripod camera. Do they just have a fancy car tripod that I am unaware about? I'm sick of wasting money on tripods that don't work. And I'm getting to the point where I'm like, oh, wow. Do you like that view?
Okay, so I went to Publix because I was thinking maybe, because I know Publix has apple turnovers, so I was thinking those are probably accidentally vegan. I was right. So as you guys saw, I got apple turnovers. They look really, really good. And then I also got these chips that you guys saw me drop my phone when I was getting. The things I do for you guys. So these are actually like my favorite brand of kettle cooked chips, Cape Cod so good my dad is obsessed with these hey dad if you're watching and then you guys didn't see me grab this but i also got some peanut butter half baked ben and jerry's because a lot of you guys specifically said ben and jerry's so i got some of this i don't even really like ben and jerry's but maybe my opinion has changed i haven't had it in a hot minute these are huge wow wait <laughs> This is so messy. This is a little too messy <laughs> for the car. And also realizing that I don't have napkins. So hmm, before I get too into it, I'll head home and I'll eat them there. I also think they'd be really good if I put them in the microwave for a little bit. See you guys at home. <laughs> okay, we are back with my partially eaten apple turnover. And I also realized that there's no nutritional information on this. So we're going along with my theme. So this actually worked out better. I really want to heat these up because I think that they would taste better. Oh my God, that looks so sad. I should have waited so I could have taken a thumbnail, but now it's like half eaten. So I'm going to heat these up for like 20 seconds because my microwave is pretty strong. Not to brag, not to flex or anything. I feel like what? Whoa, I feel like I'm gonna have to use a fork. That smells so good. I think they should have added more filling because it took a few bites for me to get to the filling. That looks pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> That's where it's at. Mm. Once you hit the filling, it's all good, but it just takes a while to get there. They were selling like mini versions of them. I should have gotten those. Those would have been easier to eat probably. Wow. <laughs> I really need to figure out a setup or something so you guys can see me eat the food. I really should sit down. Why am I standing up? Mm. That's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I finished my breakfast. First meal of the day at like almost noon, love that. So I'm going to chill for a bit and I have some really exciting things planned for lunch and dinner. I hope you guys are excited too. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Hey guys, it's been a little bit since I've last talked to y'all. Oh my God, I look like I'm strangling Chibi. <laughs> Um, I've literally just been watching SKZ Talker, which is like Stray Kids vlogs and BTS Run episodes. <laughs> That's my life. Oh, and scrolling through TikTok obviously because I am addicted to TikTok. Please follow me on TikTok. <laughs> That's shameless self-promo though. I'm getting a little bit hungry now, so I think I'm going to try this place that is called Three Dot Dash and the vegan food there looks absolutely insane. Hold on, I'll pull them up. On the gram, on the gram, who do I think I am? Oh my God, that burger has mac and cheese. Oh, oh, okay, so this was like, I guess a special for VegFest when they did VegFest, but look at that, dang. <laughs> That looks wild. Um, I'm not gonna get that. I'm just gonna get a normal burger, but I think they have I don't know if you guys know in and out That sounds so stupid. I love saying that out loud. Of course you guys do in and out that burger place in California They have animal style fries that you guys I'm sure are familiar with and this place does something called no animal style fries So it's basically in and out animal style fries without animal products. So I really want to try those. I've been wanting to try this place out for a hot minute, but I've been wanting to do it on camera for you guys. So I've been waiting. I've been waiting just, just for you guys. So I'm gonna go there, get my food, and then I'll come back here and show you guys. I was gonna say once it's done, as if I'm the one making it. I'll be back once I have it, okay? Enough talking from me. All right, I have gotten the goods. I'm so excited, it smells divine. <laughs> so this is the burger. I got this thing called a mushroom swizz. It has sauteed mushrooms, red onion, lettuce, cashew whiz cheese, whatever that is. It sounds appealing. I am intrigued. Ooh, it looks so pretty. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to plate it all in a second, but I want to get the fries out too because I'm really excited about the fries. No animal style fries. Oh yes. 
Oh baby. <laughs> now that looks great. <laughs> Some people might think that looks disgusting. Honestly, it kind of does, but in a good way. Mm. Oh my God, what is that sauce? Not even gonna try to take the fries out. I feel like it's not worth it, but I do wanna like cut the burger in half. The burger looks so good. I think that looks delicious. Ooh, that looks good. Thank God they gave me napkins because I'm already making a mess. Now it's time to try the burger. For the millionth time, just in case you didn't see it the other times. <laughs> Oh wow, that's really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Damn, these fries are great. Mm. Okay, time to eat this while I watch Stephanie's soup. <laughs> so I have someone to eat with. Oh my God, if you're eating too, you're watching me eat and I'm watching Stephanie eat, it's like mukbangception. <laughs> Jimmy, don't be so rude. We have guests. <laughs> Was so good. <laughs> I'm very, very full, but that was delicious. Whenever I do these kinds of videos, I always want to like talk about something. And something that I got asked a lot, not in regards to this video, I just get asked frequently. Free Can I speak? <laughs> I just get asked pretty frequently is how I dealt with extreme hunger, which is something that I did deal with very much so. <laughs> I used to eat a lot more than I do now, like not compared to today, but like on a daily basis, I used to eat way more than I eat nowadays. That's just because I had gone through such a long period of time of restriction that when I finally just was like, I don't care anymore. Like I'm so, I did the whole skinny thing and I was not happy. Like none of it made me happy. And that was my whole entire goal at the end of it was like, I want to lose weight. That's the goal. But the true goal is I want to lose weight because I want to be pretty and I want to be happy because I didn't think that I could be pretty or happy if I wasn't stick thin. And I'm not trying to like skinny shame people either. I know that that can like get really controversial and things like that. I'm not saying that being skinny isn't beautiful. It It is. But you have to realize it's kind of one of those things, like if you call someone skinny, it's usually like nine out of 10 times a compliment. And if you say someone's fat, automatically it's seen as an insult. When, why? Like why did that happen over the years? Even when you say someone's skinny, depending on how you use it, it could be taken as a compliment or an insult. Like if you're like, oh my God, you're so skinny. That's obviously very rude and you shouldn't do that. But if you say, oh my God, you're so skinny. It's like supposed to seem as a nice thing. But you can't really do that with saying someone's fat. I totally just got way off topic of like the extreme hunger, but I'll get back to it, I promise. You can't really say, oh my God, you're so fat. And like, it's taken nicely, you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's sad, like, I don't know why that happens. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened through history for that to be considered an insult. But basically, I got to the point where I realized because once I did get skinny, I was probably the unhappiest I've ever been in my entire life. And I was so confused. I was like, I am skinny now. Why am I not happy? And it's like, because bitch, you're not living at all. You're literally dying. <laughs> because to achieve that look for a lot of people, some people are genetically, you know, just built that way. But I'm not one of those people that are genetically built that way and I know a lot of people aren't. For me to be that skinny and my lowest weight was around, I wanna say like 93, 95 pounds. For me to be that skinny, I was basically starving myself and anything I ate, I tried my hardest to work off. I talked about in my last Fear Food video that I struggled with exercise bulimia. Everything I ate, I had to work off. Even if it was something healthy, I had to work it off. I wasn't eating anything. I wasn't hanging out with people or anything. So. So how I saw it is I got skinny for other people. I, I told myself I was losing weight for me, but I wasn't because if I was losing weight for me, I would have done it in a healthy way because if I was losing weight for me, it'd come from a place of love, but I lost weight from a place of hate. That's where it started. And uh, because I lost weight for other people, when I got to that 
point where I was skinny, I mean my weight was in double digits, which is not, that wasn't normal for my age or my height or anything. It's like I finally got to that point, but then what do I do with it? Like I, I lost weight for other people, but no one else sees me because all I do is go to the gym and then cry. <laughs> like I was saying, when I finally got over that because I came to that realization that none of this is worth it, none of this is working, I just let myself eat and some people might say that I was binging, but I really wasn't because I experienced binge eating disorder as well. And binge eating disorder, you eat to the point you're past being full and you feel so, so sick, but you keep eating and you don't know why. You literally can't stop. Like someone would have to handcuff you and to hold you back, sedate you, do something to hold you back because you cannot stop. It's like someone is controlling you. You're like a sim and someone's playing you on their computer or something like that. You can't stop it. It's totally out of your control. And people that say that you can like, no, shut up. It's a, it's a mental disorder. It's a mental illness. Like you. People that say, oh, well, just, you know, gain control. Like, when people are depressed, it's like, well, just be happy. Just take a shower. Shut up. It's not that easy. I wish it was. If it was, it wouldn't be such a big predicament in the world today. So when I was dealing with extreme hunger, I did not have binge eating disorder. But I was probably eating almost as much as I was when I had binge eating disorder because I was finally letting my body eat and I was just telling myself, it's okay. Like I trust, I'm putting all of my trust in you to tell me, like I really had to get in the whole like mind body connection or whatever because they were always arguing. They were always fighting each other. My body would want more and my mind would be like, no, or my mind would be like, I need to keep eating, hence binge eating disorder, while my body is like, please stop, I can't take this anymore. So I just had to trust them and listen to them and really be honest with myself, be honest with yourself, which is so hard to do. But I dealt with extreme hunger for a while and as time went on, my hunger did decline dramatically. I look back at how I used to eat and I'm like, how did I do that? I could never nowadays. But if you guys know Stephanie Buttermore, I'm sure you guys do. She did a whole entire like all in process and she documented it. I did not document my all in process. So if you want to see someone like a documented version, she also has a lot more like science behind everything, which I think is really helpful. But even her, you can tell, she even talks about it, how her hunger is, has decreased dramatically during her process. Yeah, extreme hunger is completely normal. And if you're craving things like chips and desserts and sweetie, so was I, because I never let myself eat that stuff. And even when I was tracking my macros, like if it fits your macros and all that stuff, where I would allow to eat things, I was never just, I wasn't really allowing myself to eat it, you know? I was only allowing myself because my numbers allowed it. Does that make sense? It wasn't actually because I myself allowed it. My phone app, my fitness pal allowed it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But that was a long rant. I just wanted to talk about that because I get a lot of questions saying, I think I'm dealing with extreme hunger, but I'm only craving this and this and this. Is that normal? I would say it's completely normal. I'm not a professional. If you can afford it and if you have the access, please seek out a professional. But speaking from my own personal experience and hearing from other people's experience, it's completely normal. Anyway, back to the video. That was delicious. How many times have I said delicious? I have to stop. I'm probably gonna edit some of this footage, charge my camera because it's already dying. What is up with that? And I'll see you guys when I'm eating again. Wow, my lip color. <laughs> my lipstick has completely wiped away, but that's okay. I am off to go pick up dinner because I don't know how long it's going to take and also it's getting to that time of like rush hour traffic, so I really don't want to be sitting in traffic for an hour. So I'm going to be going to this place called Ground Foods Cafe. And I think it just opened really recently. I don't know what the food looks like in real life, but the pictures look stunning. <laughs> look at how aesthetic that looks. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. So they sell like penne a la vodka and things like that, which is what I think I'm going to get because that sounds really good right now. So I think I'm gonna pick up some penne a la vodka. I don't know if they'll give me bread on the side. I'm gonna try to ask. So I'm gonna go pick that up now. Pray for me that I don't end up in too much traffic. And yeah, I will see you guys when I get back. I have to get better at transitions, but I just, I say that in every video and I never get better. 2020 is the year of better transitions. Okay. <laughs> and I am back. Yes. <laughs> what am I doing? 
So the place was super cute and the girl that was ringing me up was so nice. She was so cute and so shout out to her. I should have gotten her name. I suck. But I got my penne vodka and I asked for table bread. She was like, yeah, of course you can have table bread. And I was like, I love you. We love good table bread. Oh my gosh, she even gave me oil. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at this. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Oh my god, it smells so good. Yo, look at that. Look at that. I am excited for that. Okay. Huh? Wait, whoa. Whoa. Wow. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is so good. This is actually amazing. I don't even know what to say. Highly, highly recommend at least this dish. This is freaking delicious. Mm. This is the best pasta I've had in a hot minute. I know you guys are probably tired of seeing this same exact spot. We making sandwiches. Yes. Fire. <laughs> Okay, so I had maybe a little more than half, about a half, I don't know. There's still just like a, a layer at the bottom, but I'm feeling pretty full. So I'm going to stop here, and now I can split this into a meal for tomorrow. Which means no cooking for me. Seriously, this is so freaking good. Probably because I just, I'm used to my own cooking. So my expectations are really low. <laughs> okay, but I'm peeling, I'm peeling. I'm peeling. Mmm, <laughs> pasta's getting to my head. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty full. And then in a little bit, maybe like an hour or so, I'm gonna have some dessert. That lighting is not cute, I'm so sorry. But I'm having my dessert, which is the Ben and Jerry's that I got earlier. Peanut butter half-baked non-dairy frozen dessert. A lot of people did say that Ben and Jerry's specifically was a fear food for them. I'm not like the biggest fan of Ben and Jerry's, but it's been a hot minute since I've had it, so maybe my mind has changed. See, it's really, really good. It is, it's just so sweet. I used to be able to eat like a pint of this. I could never. Mm. Whenever I have Ben and Jerry's, people always comment saying that it's not actually vegan, it's just non-dairy. It's vegan. It has the little vegan symbol right there. If you look at the ingredient list, it's vegan. <laughs> it is really good though. I'm not hating on it or anything. That was really, really good. <laughs> but that's going to be the last thing I have for tonight. I'm feeling satisfied, I'm feeling full, feeling well-fed, feeling good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, but of course if you hated it, please, by all means, give it a thumbs down because that's okay too. Comment anything else you would like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. If you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, you are needed in this world, you are wanted in this world, whether you know it or not. I need you here, I want you here, I love you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!